Hello and welcome back to the next installment in this Reason series. This time we're going to scroll down our instrument selection here and look at the matrix and at the subtractor and maybe some more if we can get to it. But let's check out this matrix here. Because the matrix is a very powerful step sequencer. Um, it calls itself an analog pattern sequencer. And in a lot of ways it's very similar to the redrum. In, in what it triggers. And like I've shown in past videos, we can get back here into the nitty gritty of what's going on and really start manipulating what instrument is controlling what. But the default is that the matrix controls the subtractor. It doesn't have to stay that way, but it, at this point it's controlling the subtractor. So in other words, this pattern sequencer, instead of triggering um, various drums like the redrum drums, it triggers this synthesizer. And instead, whereas the redrum, we control different individual patterns. I get an audio there for some reason. We'll check that out. Um, instead, we have actually access to a, a full keyboard. And notice right here on the left side of this window is we see the, the various notes. And, and we can also change the octave that they're on. So right now we're in the third octave and when you play this you won't hear anything. We'll see how you enable these. But what we can do here is this window allows us to draw and select the notes that occur. This would be at a D along there. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to read. Okay, actually it was I misread that too. That's a G. This would be a D down here. Um, one of the drawbacks I